some yarn. I have Red Heart Super Saver in. The color is Petal Pink. Going to need a rubber band. The really thick ones. Some scissors. A yarning needle. I have this whole new pack that I'm probably going to open. And in size H, 5 millimeter hook. Slip knot. And a yarn. Wrap the yarn around our finger twice. Pull the back over to the front and hold in place. Pull the back now off and pull tight. Put it on our loop. What we're going to do <clears throat> is insert our hook into the middle of the rubber band. And we're going to single crochet. Okay. And we're going to do it again. Single crochet. That's two. Three. Four. So if you want it to be really thin, then do a couple. If you want it to be really thick, then do a bunch. Nine. And ten. Okay. So now we're going to turn our work, chain one, so you're just going to single crochet across. Last one. Okay. I'm going to hide this tail now up here. So we're going to chain one. We turned our work. Now we're just going to single crochet across again. You're going to keep doing this until your headband is as long as you want it to be. Then after that, we'll join it to the other side and put a bow on it or something. Something fun. Just still hiding the end. <clears throat> I think I'm going to stop right here. So go ahead and keep doing that. Remember to chain one, single crochet across. Chain one, single crochet across. Until you have it as long as you want it to be. And we'll move back up and attach to the other side and finish off. Last row. Okay, that's how long mine is. So now what we want to do is we want to attach it to this side. It's a pretty
pretty easy. You're going to turn your work, chain up one, grab your yarn, hold it up, grab the, <clears throat> the rubber band, and stretch your hook in. And you're going to slip stitch it first. And then go into this other, go into the loop, into this loop, single crochet. So you're going to go into the stitch, under the rubber band, and single crochet. Okay, again, so into the stitch, under the rubber band, single crochet on top. Last one. Okay. And then we're going to chain up one, set our yarn, pull through. And there we have the headband. Okay. Now, if we want, we can make an embellishment in the middle for a bow, a bow or something. Probably what I'm going to do real quick. Let's make like a flower. Let's weave this in real quick. <clears throat> Okay, and then I like to go back this way. And snip. And there you have it. Okay, so we can um, go ahead and make a little bow for this. Okay, so to make the flower, I already made my slip knot, put it on my hook, chain up four, four, slip stitch into the first, slip stitch back into the first chain. Now we have our loop. Oh, and I'm using a size four hook. So we're going to chain up three. We're going to yarn over, insert a hook in the circle. And we're going to double crochet. We need 12 total, including the chain. There's three, four, and 12. Now we're going to take that tail and pull tight. That should basically close the hole. Now we're going to slip stitch into the first, into the chain three space at the top. Okay. What I'm going to do is slip stitch into the next one, right there, chain up one. <clears throat> And we're going to do one single crochet, one half double crochet, you yarn over, insert your hook through the stitch, pull through, and then go through all three. 
what we're doing is building it up. Then we're going to do one double crochet, three triple crochet, and to do a triple you wrap your around your hook twice, insert, pull through, go through two, go through two, go through two. I'm going to do that two more times. Okay, one more. And now we're going to go backwards, so we're going to need double crochet. One half double. One single crochet. Okay, and there's our first petal. Now all of that was in one uh, double crochet. So now we're going to skip that one and go into the next one. And we're going to repeat the process. One single, one half, one double, three triple crochets, I need to pull more yarn. This is a new ball. <clears throat> that was two triple. There's the third triple. And now we're going back down. So we're in a double crochet, half double crochet, and single crochet. Skip the next stitch. So I'm going to skip this one and go into this one. Just going to keep repeating this until you have your petals done. Okay, so we're going to skip that one. So we're going to skip this one that's hidden and go right into this one. I just finished my last petal. Now we're going to slip stitch into this bottom chain one. It's a little difficult, but okay, we're going to yarn over, chain up one. You want to leave a nice big tail. And pull through. No, you can definitely snip this one in the back because we're done with it. Okay, now I'm going to get a button so we can put a button on it. Just so it stands out a little more. I have this cute pink button. It has pink and white stripes. I think that's cute, especially since we have... Um, pink and white basically in here. It's really pretty. So I have this little doohickey thing and it's supposed to help you um, put your string through here. In fact, I think these are all too big for this. Yeah, so that's not going to fit through. Perfect. So now let's get our yarn in here so we can finish it off. Oopsies.
I've never used this damn thing before. I think you put it like this. Put your yarn in the doohickey thing. And then you pull it through. Okay. Put the doohickey in your hook. Put the yarn on the doohickey. Well, hell, that was easier. So now we're ready to attach. Just got to figure out how I want it on here. Just throw it in the corner. I think it looks cute in the corner, so that's where I'm going to put it. <laughs> So I'm going to take my bow, my flower, and my headband, and stick my button on, and I'm going to go to start it. Started, I'm going to take it through the back first so just so we can get into the middle okay now we're in the middle okay Oy. grab your button and I'm going to stick that through this piece here and then through holding it open in the back so that it doesn't go to the other side and pull through. Okay, see what I did there? I went the wrong way. Snikey. Okay, let's try this again. So we're going to go up through the back, close as we can get to this. I don't want to go to the middle because then it won't secure the button. And then back down to the other side. Okay. And now I need to put the flower on. So what I like to do is just turn it this way. And see, I had to put a... I screwed up, so... I'm just going to leave that and tuck it away as we go. Up through the back. I'm just going to go around the petal a couple times. Just to secure it in place. Okay, and then we're going to do the button one more time because I like to do it extra. One more time on the button. Okay, see it's still a little loose. 
So I'm going to do it again. Because I want it nice and tight and I want that sucker coming off. Sometimes it's hard when you have such a thick yarn and such a small needle to get it through. Just gotta wiggle and pull. Alright. I don't think that's gonna go anywhere. So now I'm just gonna tuck this tail away behind a couple stitches back here. Not only am I going to tuck it in the back, but I'm going to tuck it through the flower, like so. Okay. And that's it on that one. to tuck this one away. I can use a bigger one. This doohickey is awesome. Stick this thing on my bobber in here. Pull your yarn through. I don't know why I never used this thing before. I'm going to stick it, pull it through a couple of this one area because it's tucked in. And there we have the headband with a flower. OMG, isn't this the cutest thing ever? You can pull these apart and fiddle around with them. Look at how cute that is. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and be sure to hit the subscribe button where we will be putting out more crochet videos soon. Um, and as always, you guys have a fantastic day. Yeah.